Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm George. Hi, I'm Ellie. And, and we're, we're from, from Dubai, Dubai College. College. We'll be talking to you about the last bit of archaeology, which is the study of sharks and rays. We chose this topic because we feel around the world people get the wrong view of sharks. And it was just an interesting topic. So, what makes a shark a shark? Well, they have cartilage skeletons, unlike the bony skeletons of fish. Also, they have gills, mostly five, and they use ram ventilation, meaning they have to keep swimming to breathe underwater. The a shark's skin is covered with tiny dermal dentifrices. These have a similarity to teeth. Having this on the skin reduces drag. Today, we'll be talking to you about three sharks and the one here. The three sharks are the sand tiger shark, the black tip ring shark, and the megalodon. This shark is a common reef shark and has distinctive black markings at the ends of its fins. It also has a blunt snout. These sharks can grow up to 1.6 meters and some of the largest can weigh 13.6 kgs. Black tip reef sharks are quite social and have been displayed in aquariums as they are one of the sharks that have done well. Sand tiger sharks are the only known sharks to come to the surface in gold pair. They store in their stomachs which allows them to float mostly in the water seeking prey. They occasionally hunt in small groups and have been known to attack full fishing nets. Although this species is widespread, it is, not usually, it is not widely fished for food. It has one of the lowest reproduction rates of all sharks and is listed vulnerable so is protected. This shark has no reported human fatality. Megadon is a prehistoric shark. It is the cousin of the great white shark. The size of this creature is the size of a public bus. We found this out by the ratio compared to the teeth size. The last Megalodon mysteriously disappeared two million years ago. The Megalodon had an appetite for any meat that stood in its way. It is the apex predator of the seven seas because of their bone structure that we have no proof that size is shark. Lepidoria is special because of its significant colours and designs on their back, which looks like a leopard skin, so we call them leopard rays. They are found in the Pacific Ocean at depths shallower than 70 metres. Thank you for watching. Hope we changed your view of sharks and rays.